Everything is backwards. Everything is upside down. Lawyers destroy justice. Psychiatrists destroy minds. Scientists destroy truth. Major media destroys information. And governments destroy freedom. I don't think truer words were ever spoken. The vast majority of people still watching the news, still believe the mainstream media, still believe the government's there to protect them and care for them. There is no excuse for doing harm to other people when we know what the right thing to do is and we know what the wrong thing to do is. There is no excuse to be made for why one should continue to do things that are harmful just to receive a paycheck. And see, this is the problem with the world, folks. This is the problem, this is the unspoken problem that no one wants to just directly confront right to someone's face. Look in the, in the face and say, you are an immoral person because you continue to receive a paycheck by participating in a job that is part of an institution that is causing harm to other people. And that's the problem with people. They're too soft and people have too thin of a skin and get too easily offended when you tell them, you know what, what you're doing is wrong. You should stop doing it. It doesn't matter if you are poor as a result. If you must be poor for a time, you should quit your job and stop participating in the institution that is causing harm. Maybe you'll have to struggle for a while. The vast majority of the people of this planet absolutely believe that the very institutions are their God, are their actual complete God and savior and would do anything to protect them and have the, and speak about them with the utmost respect and reverence. And I see it every day. I see it every single day. Any place I go in public there, nobody is, is attacking any of these institutions. There's a tiny, 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 small, fraction of people who get that all of these institutions are broken and are the problem themselves. Most people think it's all oh, just a tiny few bad people that are the problem. No, it isn't. It's almost everybody that's the problem. Government, media, education, banking and finance, and science. These are the biggest problem causers in the entire human world. And the, the fact that people still reverently believe that these things are doing what they claim that they are doing and that we need them. And that if we didn't have them, human beings would be worse off instead of better. The fact that most people still believe that is the nature of the problem here on earth. And you know, I don't hear other people talking about this, you know, again, when I turn on alternative news media, I don't hear anybody really delving deep into the, the issues that are going on. They're talking about nonsense most of the time. They're talking about political nonsense. They don't look at big picture trends. They don't look at big picture thought processes that are actually steering humanity in a certain direction. And that's the problem, the inability to pull back and actually see the large picture. This is what our society really is like. This is what the average every man and every woman really look like going through their daily lives, okay? They are wandering through life blindfolded, faulty observation, faulty perceptions, never really knowing what right and wrong are, never really knowing what is good for them and what is truly bad for them because of the brainwashing that is done culturally through all the institutions. So there is no ability to discern truth on the part of the average member of the population. And bigger part of the problem actually is that the people who are awake and aware actually believe, erroneously believe, because they want to believe that the world is better than it is, because they want hope. The great work is to know the proportions of what is taking place in society. It's part of it. It's a big part of it. Okay? So don't make the mistake of thinking just because you're awake and a large portion of your friends may be awake to not think that we're in a very, very tiny minority and the vast majority of human beings in the world are exactly in this situation that you see here. The vast majority of people still watching the news, still believe the mainstream media, still believe the government's there to protect them and care for them. So people naively misplace their trust in this institution because they identify with and believe in its ostensible purpose.
And the ostensible purpose of government is to maintain critical infrastructure, protect people's lives, rights, and property, punish wrongdoers, preserve justice in our society, and defend freedom from potential enemies, whether they be foreign or domestic enemies to freedom. This is what government tells you it's doing. You know, we're going to build and maintain the uh, critical infrastructure of the country, you know, the road system, the transportation system, the communication system, the electrical system, etc water, gas, etc. All the necessities of life, right? We're going to protect people's lives, rights, and property. We're not going to take those things. We're not going to subject them and enslave them. We're going to protect your rights. 95% of society believes that that is the ostensible purpose of government. So that's what government's really doing, folks. If we're being honest with ourselves, it is enslaving humanity. The true purpose of government is to dictate commands called laws to protect its own interests and limit any threat to its continued control. That's what government wants to do. That's its primary purpose, to continue to survive, to continue to grow, continue to limit the freedom of others so that any threat that those others may pose to its continuation is limited and or disposed. And that's what laws are for. And that's why there's more and more of them every single day. If there's anybody that I think are like even lower than the order followers, it's the media. But the media are right down there with them because what these people are paid liars. That's what they've always been. But that's not what the public thinks. Do you think the mainstream media does fair job in trying to accurately report what's taking place? Do you think that that's their intended purpose like do you think that that's what the people who actually dress in their suit and tie or their business type outfit and go into work every day as part of the ma mainstream media is their goal in their mind to say i want to try to accurately report what's happening in the world and accurately re report truth so that other people can make informed decision making just do that experiment and see the results that you get so the ostensible purpose of the mainstream media is to provide accurate information to people so that people can make informed decisions regarding what type of behavior they're going to choose to take. People want their behavior and their decision making to be based on reality, right? So that's what the media is allegedly here to do, to provide that accurate information about what's taking place in the world so people can make their decision making accurately based on informed decisions based on accurate information and they're supposed to act in a power checking capacity to corruption in other institutions like government that's why it's been called the fourth arm of the government in addition to the exact legislative and judicial branches branch involved. of government okay has been a nickname given to the media because that's what it's supposed to do that's what real journalists would be charged to do we don't have that that's not what the media is today no folks the true purpose of the media is to control the worldview of the government subjects to control the minds of the government slaves that's what the purpose of the media is to feed you the narrative that the government wants you fed and wants you believing that's the true purpose of the media if we're being honest with ourselves it's to spread government and corporate propaganda lies and misdirection to get people not able to discern truth from falsehood because you're feeding their minds with so much garbage. You're going to eventually come to believe it. And that's where most of society is at. Not only do they believe the propaganda that's being shoved down their throat by the media, they actually believe the ostensible purpose of the media is to tell them the truth and they believe they're doing a good job at it. No, that's just what you do and the institution you're involved in doing it through. That's not who you are. It shouldn't be the view of who you are, but that's the problem is people identify themselves with the job that they do. It's called ego identification, cultural identification. And then we have political identification, you know, identity politics, job identity. People can't see that there's something beyond that, that they themselves are something beyond that in consciousness and awareness.